products is equals. Oh, thank you. So products is equals to points. So this is the second most important thing you need to remember. And of course, the third positive attitude. <laughs> Money is not there, as you can see. It's just people, products, and positive attitude. And I know we can all achieve becoming an auto sales master and new sales master with this three. So let's start off with people first, right? So who are the people? Who are the people we considered people, right? People we need. Those are customers. Okay, what is that open close plan? <laughs> Oops, okay. Before I do that, so customers are actually equals to partners. There can be active or inactive customers, right? So when signing up people, we need to focus not just the quantity. So regardless how many people, number of people you sign up, you can sign up 50 people, 100 people. If nobody's buying, so sales mastership is out of reach. So it's very important. So for us to get to know more about the customers, you know, Rebecca Wong has been emphasizing, um, know your partners, know your customers, right? All the star masters and all other masters have been e emphasizing about this. There is what we call VOC or voice of customer. Um, in the food manufacturing industry, this is very important for them to be able to come up with what product they want to sell in the grocery store, similar to, to our shopping, um, online shopping mall, right? So I want to ask everybody, voice of customer, because all of us are customers, for us to buy products or when you buy products from the market, what do you consider before you buy products? What do you, what's important to you? Anyone who wants to say what's important to them? Sharon Rose, Master Olivia Gallon. What's important to you? What do you consider when you buy products from the market? Or even from Atomi, from grocery stores? Sorry, can you unmute? Okay, may I request? Okay, I'll, maybe I'll request to unmute, unmute. Quality. Quality, okay, that's good. Yeah, that's true, right? Quality, what else? Fresh. <laughs> It has to be fresh, vegetables, right? It has to be fresh for sure. What else do you consider? How about you, Christy? Price. Price, yeah. very important. Price, quality, price. How about you, Tess? What do you consider? Sorry, what can I you need? Oh, there, yeah, there is no right and wrong from this. This is just what you consider when you buy from the market. So. If, I really, if I really need the product, the I have needs. to consider the needs of the, the needs. product. My needs yeah, you don't buy product. anything you don't need, right? Waste of money, waste of time. Okay, what else? How about you, Sharon Rose Master Heesing? I consider like if, if, if the product is something new. New. Yeah. Something you want to try. Yeah, something I want to try. Something you want to try. New That's ingredient good. or new, new kind of. Yeah, because when you love a brand, they come up with something new. You're very excited. You still want to try new design, new features. You know, in a car, especially when you buy new cars, now they can park on their own. They can drive on their own, right? Some, <laughs> something like new, nice features. How about you, Sales Master Chodi? I consider the source. The source, where it came from. I, if I okay. buy, let's say, pitch, there is pitch from US on one in one box, another one pitch, Ontario pitch. I will buy Ontario pitch. Yeah. You know, it's good quality, it's right? <laughs> yeah, it's either it's good quality. So this is what we call so source. I consider, I consider the source. For other products, I consider the country where where it's coming. Where it came from, the source, very important. Yeah, so this, thank you for all your answers. This is what we call voice of customer. So it's very easy. Talk to your partners, right? Know what they need. Know what they consider important to them when they buy products so we know how to sell products to them right so you mentioned about cost the price very important quality service this is very important too service or accessibility right service if um there's an issue with your product whom to reach who to call or sometimes you don't know who to call nobody wants to talk to you or maybe your partners have a problem with their product and you're not there to actually help them 
because they don't know what to do. They want to replace the product. They bought the product. Let's say someone bought EP Booster. EP Booster is more than what? $250, right? And it's not working. So this is something we need to help our partners so that they won't be disappointed to us nor to the company. So we can have them, keep them to keep buying, right? And then of course, human requirement, the needs, very important. So this is what we consider when we actually want to focus on taking care of our customers. So number one, people. So for us to be able to become a new sales master or auto sales master, we need to focus on the needs of our people. And when we sign up a new partner, um, introducing the products, this is still something you need to consider. And there's fireman, <laughs> fire truck. <laughs> Okay, so I also learned in the world of engineering, there is a canoe model they call. So Professor Noriaki from Japan in 1980s um, created this model. So this idea is actually to, he created this to classify customer preferences for attributes of product and service. So he grouped it into different category, like attractive, performance, you know. How, how do you think Atomy um, come up with all the products that they sell in the website. Of course, they also consider these things too, right? Basic needs. So according to, to um, Professor Noriaki, customers can be classified into basic, satisfier, and delighter. Basic needs or basic, basic customers are people falls into the category of um, they buy the products, um, they're just okay. Um, they just fulfill the needs. I need a shampoo and then I'm just, I'm okay with the shampoo. I'm not happy. It's not something I'm crazy about or maybe not something I would even refer to other people, right? And then next is the satisfier. When we meet the customer needs of um, improving the products, like what he Singh said, he want, uh, she said that she wants to try new products, right? So because the company keeps on improving the product performance, so the customer is very happy. Like before, automatic windshield. Again, now there's like a lot of smart car features. So customer, very happy. So they fall into this blue line. The basic is on the red line. They're like, okay, the needs are fulfilled. And then the last one is delighter. So this is what we want our customers to be delighted and very happy, very excited, because when we fulfill this, they become a delighter. Um, they can refer more people to us. This is the hardest part, right? You want to do the business. Oh, I have like more than 100 people, partners that I signed up. But are they buying? No. Did you even ask them to refer people? Did they even refer people? To be honest, I realized this because we attended a funeral, some few friends who has been signed up long time under my Aunt Venus. And then just recently, they um, they bought products. They're very happy. Without even asking them for referrals, they, they referred someone to us. Like, this is... This is what happened when we actually take care of our customers and make sure they're very happy with the products. So my bottom line is we need to follow up with our partners so we make sure they're happy customers, right? Like us. Okay, so next, let's go with products because products is equal points. So most important thing to do is to know your products. What do you think is the best thing to do for us to know the products? Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. It's so hard to sell a product that we have not used because we don't have experience. Okay, let's just say, for example, me. Um, how can I say how can I sell sopalmeto if I'm not using sopalmeto? Right? So what I did, I bought it for my dad, right? Or I attend meetings. I gave it to my uncle Paul. I told Leia, use let tell your husband to use this. Then maybe my other family members can actually give some feedback to me regarding the product if I'm not the one using it, right? Because maybe you don't need to use it. Even he saying actually tried to use it. It doesn't really affect her, but it's it's um it's good. But we have the Sephora Queen counterpart of Sopalmeto for women. So please know your products, very important. You cannot become a sales master or master of sales if you don't know about the products, okay? And of course, the last one, very important, positive attitude, right? 
according to Mayo Clinic, positive thinking doesn't mean that you can keep your head in the sand and ignore life's pleasant situation. Positive thinking just means that you can approach um, unpleasantness in a more positive and productive way. And the health benefits of positive thinking, according to researchers, researchers, it increased lifespan, greater resistance to common cold, meaning it keeps you healthy, right? Better psychological and physical well-being, better cardiovascular, uh, cardiovascular health, and reduced risk of death from heart disease. So very important, cardiovascular to technical, that is just heart disease, right? So it protects us from, you know, um, all other diseases. Basically, just because of positive thinking, right? And positive attitude. So let's do some mathematics in here. So according to Bill Gates, rich person with a broke mindset will always end up broke. Broke person plus broke mindset stays broke, right? But a rich person with a rich mindset will always become rich. And even if you are a broke person right now, when you have a rich mindset, you have always a chance to become rich. So those never lie. Mindset is everything, right? Very important. Maybe that's why Bill Gates, at some point, he was the richest man, right, in the world because of his mindset, right? So we have a chance. Whether If we're broke right now, as long as you have positive mindset and positive attitude, we can still do it, right? So... Your success starts here. Let's just focus on our people using the product so, so we will be able to share the products. And of course, always, always positive attitude. If we have all these three Ps, becoming a sales master will, will never be a problem. So that is the end of my presentation, everybody. So thank you for listening and participating. Can we stop recording? <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You have questions? That is easy to remember, right? 